So you're trying to get that perfect shot and all you're being met with is this weird clicking Nikon noise. Not that one. So if you spent any decent amount of time with the Nikon D3000 or 5000 series DSLR, you may have fallen upon a certain annoying whirring sound coming from the lens. To solve that issue, Nikon finally released the little thing known as the AFP lens. Now what I'm talking about is the stock kit lenses that come with the D3000 and 5000 series DSLRs. That means is the AFS series lenses. Canon for a while now has had what's known as an STM lens, which essentially is kind of like a cinema lens, not in the quality, but in the way it focuses and the near silent operation that it provides. Nikon has not had any iteration similar to this until they announced two certain lenses back in early 2016, possibly late 2015, where they announced a 18 to 50 millimeter AFP lens and a 70 to 300 millimeter zoom FAP lens. Now these ones have Nikon's proprietary stepper motor ability, whatever they want to call it, where it's very similar to Canon, where instead of using the original autofocus motor, it has a series of gears or something like that where it focuses. The most important thing that you need to know is it is near silent. Right off the bat, a few physical characteristics of the two lenses will immediately strike your eye as being different. With the AFP lens, you will immediately notice that you no longer have an auto to manual selector switch for the focus, and you will no longer have the on off switch for the VR setting. With the AFP lens, and included with the latest update drivers for the D3000 and 5000 series DSLRs, come the inclusion of the ability to control the new AFP lenses. So instead of manually selecting what you want to do on the lens, you now have to use the menus built into the DSLR, which then allow you to turn on off manual as well as the VR. So on the lens, it's now a smooth lens with no switches, adjustment levers, whatever you want to call it. However, it still does have that Nikon locking ability with their telescoping lenses. Besides that, the AFP lens is slightly larger, approximately three millimeters in width. So the difference of the 52 millimeter on the AFS lens to the 55 millimeter in width on the AFP lens. So your original hoods will not work on the newest lens. You'll have to go out and purchase a new 55 millimeter one, which is commonly found on Canon lenses. Outside that, they are very similar. And here's a couple quick shots of the autofocus in action, as well as the sound that you may pick up when using the built-in microphone or possibly even an external microphone. All right guys, so this is just a quick test of my normal position sitting here in my little review space reviewing an item. You can hear it going back and forth. I'm trying to make some exaggerated movements. That way the lens picks up the movements and refocuses. And you can hear through the DSLR's built-in microphone that whirring sound of it attempting to find focus. 
So before we had the AFS, now I have the AFP with its autofocus turned on, attempting to also recreate the whirring sound as I make some exaggerated movements. Now, what I've noticed with the AFP lens is actually, I believe it finds focus faster, whereas the non-stepper motor AFS lens is supposed to find focus faster. However, in testing, I found that that is not the case. It's just louder, maybe gets a little sharper, possibly finding focus. However, the trade-off of the sound and everything else can kind of be tweaked afterwards. So, some exaggerated movements, let it find focus. Now, the, the lighting is not optimal in here for finding focus. It's a little dark, so it does have an issue attempting to get some of that. But, as you can see, or hear, it is a hell of a lot quieter. So from that, guys, you've seen the noisiness of the original AFS lens, and if you're shooting in autofocus, now, most will always recommend, as I do in these videos that I do, a manual setting on the focus. You'll manually find your good focal point. The only problem is if you, if I tend to lean forward or something like that, I may go out of focus for a little bit. That's an issue you're gonna have, but you're not gonna ever have your camera attempting to find focus and zooming in and out as it attempts to locate it. But with the inclusion of the new stepper motor, you now have that flexibility to not have to worry about it. And as you saw in the close-ups, the AFP lens actually does a really good job of, even in low light settings as I'm doing right now, of finding focus and sticking there. Whereas the AFS lens was obviously having a clear issue. No lighting was changed, everything remained the same. All I did was swamp out lenses and they were zoomed out to about 24 millimeters on both lenses. So everything was identical minus just the actual destruction of the lenses. Now, the only downfall with these lenses is the 18 to 50 millimeter lens starts at right around 200 for the cheapest I've seen up to about 250, also depending if you want VR or not. And for the 70 to 300, you're looking at the lowest being 299 right off the bat. And I think right now you can only pre-order it. However, if you feel ever so inclined to, you can go and pick up the international or import model of the lenses, which you can also find DSLRs in as well. However, with that, you lose the ability to send it in for warranty repair and a few other things that Nikon will not cover. Now, the AFP lenses and the update are only for the later series D3000s and 5000s. I believe it's the 32 and 3300s are supported possibly think up to 31, but I'm not 100% sure. You'll have to check specifics yourself. But I believe it's the D33, 3400, as well as the D54 and 5500. I don't think anything previous to that will work with the update and work with the AFP lens. You can still use the AFP lens, but you will lose the ability to do the autofocus just simply because the camera does not support it. Now, these, this lens is your standard F mount. However, obviously, if you get an adapter or anything like that for a higher grade Nikon, such as even starting with the D7000, there's no point because you don't need a built-in autofocus motor because the camera will focus itself and you kind of get rid of that whole issue. It's been a quick overview of the AFP lens. Go out and find it if you want it or save up and wait for the next biggest and greatest thing. But that's the lens. Get it if you like. Guys, Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Go ahead and let us know down in the comments below what you'd like to see in the future if you like the content we're doing or something maybe you would like to see us do or something further, guys. Tay here with Tay and K. I always appreciate it. And you guys have a good rest of your day.